Hi everyone, in this video, we will be demonstrating how to properly extract serum from our whole blood sample. First, obtain your blood sample in a glass test tube or a test tube with clot activators. Make sure that your patient sample is labeled according to hospital protocol. This may include the patient's name, hospital identification number, and date of birth. In order to collect serum, we have to allow our blood to fully clot, which normally takes anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. Check if the blood has fully clotted by tilting the tube gently. If the blood is still not clotted, allow the tube to stand for a few more minutes. Avoid vigorous shaking of the tube as this may cause hemolysis. Here you see an example of a fully clotted blood sample. When the tube is inverted, the clot should remain stationary. Next, centrifuge the clotted tubes at 1,000 to 2,000 Gs for 10 minutes. After centrifugation, gently take out the tubes, making sure not to disturb the settled cell components. Oftentimes, after centrifugation, you will encounter a gel-like substance in your tube which prevents you from collecting the serum. Here you can see an example of a tube in which the cloth has fully settled. The serum should be very easily accessible. To remove the gel, rim the tube by gently running a toothpick along the tube's inner walls. After, re-centrifuge the tube for 1-2 to two minutes. After re-centrifugation, you should be able to observe that the gel has settled and that the serum is now easily accessible. Prior to testing, transfer the patient's serum into a new clean labeled test tube. Normal serum appears pale yellow and totally clear. Here we have examples of serum that should be rejected when encountered in the laboratory. First is our lipemic serum. Notice that it is more turbid compared to our normal serum. This is due to an increase in lipids in the blood, namely your triglycerides. Next, we have our hemolyzed sample, 
which may be a result of intravascular hemolysis or improper handling during blood collection and processing. To ensure that there is no contamination from cellular blood elements, recentrifuge the tube for another minute. After centrifugation, you will be able to notice the separated blood cell pellet. Being careful not to disturb the blood pellet, transfer the serum into a new test tube. To avoid contamination, cover your tubes immediately with parafilm. Serum samples can be used immediately or stored in the refrigerator for 2-3 to three days until use. Thank you.